Google Maps versus Waze in 2024, which is better for you? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about Waze and Google Maps. Now, which one is better for you? Which navigation app is better? We're going to be discussing it all in this video in great depth and detail. Now, first of all, let's start with Waze. Now, obviously, I'm starting off with Waze because Waze is, you could say, the underdog, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give Waze the privileges. This is the first time I'm starting Waze on my device. And, uh, you know, I'm going to connect Waze with everything. And uh, once we connect Waze, you're going to see that Waze is going to take me to, uh, you know, my locations. And I'm simply going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, ask ways to lead me to some place. So let's say I want to go to some area in New York and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and where to, and we're going to go ahead and write New York. Okay. So I'm going to go straight to New York city. I'm going to add that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and view routes and it's going to show me all the routes that, uh, goes from me to actual New York City. So you can see that Waze is pretty standard, you know, a bit difficult to get uh, started with, a bit difficult to get an idea of, but then we have this, we have Google Maps. So let's say if I were to write New York over here, and let's say, you know, I wanna get to New York. So from here, it's gonna configure things. And there you can see that it actually shows me a whole map of New York, where it also shows me pictures of how New York looks, and right under it, it also shows me this stuff. So it shows me all the uh, restaurants, the gas stations, hotels, groceries, parks, coffee shops, attractions, and a whole lot more. And you can see all these different things that, uh, you know, the two-star hotel, three-star hotel, um, then you have, you know, Central Parks. Uh, you can also get, they also show you the money. So let's say the Langham, which is a five-star hotel, uh, you know, it shows me the price of how expensive it is to live in it for one night. So, you know, this is the type of stuff that Google Maps gives you. And obviously Google Maps is uh, an older platform to use. So it's more in. So Google Map and Waze have a lot of things in common, thanks to them sharing Google as a parent company. But no matter how similar things get, the two services have been kept distinctly separate, primarily due to the fact that two navigation apps both work in completely different ways. Google Map, as we can see, is all about the data with years of archives to fall back on, while Waze is all uh, about crowdsourcing from uh, actual users, okay? It also offers a uniquely aggressive approach to getting you from place to place. Despite the gap, the difference between the two services seem pretty subtle. So when it comes down to Google Maps versus Waze, you know, we're going to talk about it in points. So first of all, let's uh, go ahead and talk about the availability. Now, Google is well known for keeping its hands in every figurative cookie jar. Okay, now what do I mean by that? So Google Maps and Waze are both widely available. Both apps are available on iOS and Android. As you can see, I'm using it on iOS, but it's also available on Android and are compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So it doesn't matter what device you use or what car you drive. You've got the option of using both of these with each other, which in my opinion, you know, is pretty incredible. And that, to be honest, works for me. And uh, then obviously, moving on and on, Google Maps has a minor advantage on cars running Android Automotive OS, okay? So on Android Automotive OS, what you can do is, uh, you know, search anything like, let's say, Los Angeles from New York, I need locations, and uh, it's going to calculate stuff pretty quickly for me. It depends on your internet as well, to be honest. So since it's one of the pre-installed apps on every Android that is in the TV, Waze, meanwhile, has to be specifically installed by its user, okay? If the user does not install it, that will not work. You know, Google Maps came with my iPhone, but, you know, applications like Waze, as you can see, they're installed in my new uh, application. So clearly I installed it just for this video. And the thing is in availability, I'd say they both are the same because uh, there are even versions of both services available on desktop browsers, though they are limited by the fact that you can't get any live navigation that way. Still, you can look up directions, locations and save things to your account, which you can pick up on your phone later on if you want to. Then we move on to Google Maps and Waze's navigation. Now, at their core, both Google Maps and 
ways will get you where you want to go. That being said, despite both being operated by Google, they are pretty different. Now, Google Maps, as you can see, is pretty much your traditional navigation app. So you basically punch in a location and it will find a way to get you there. No matter how you plan on doing it, you could walk, drive, cycle, or take the bus. And Google Maps has something to offer. Google can even alert you to obstacles or traffic along the way and give you the option of taking a different path. Waze, on the other hand, is built exclusively for car and motorbike users rather than finding the quickest single path to your destination and leaving you to it. Waze is always running and analyzing conditions to try and get you there the fastest possible way. It's a running joke that Waze would tell you to drive through an active war zone to shave five seconds off of your journey. And that is totally true. I will second that for the users that actually tell you that stuff. So yeah, that's the issue with Waze. And Waze is pretty glitchy as well. It's pretty buggy. So I'd say the winner in navigation, in my opinion, would always be Google Maps. And then obviously going on to public and alternate transportations. Now, what works more than that? So basically, there is an easy decision to make if you're traveling by public transport or some other means of alternate transportation. Waze has absolutely nothing to offer, like literally nothing. The point of Waze is to redirect you as a driver whenever it sees a faster route around obstacles. But obviously, you don't have that luxury on public transit because you're not the one driving. So you're going to have to use Google Maps. Now, Google Maps has support for public transportation, walking and cycling. Attempting to use Waze would just send you down any old route as a car can get down there, which isn't always a particularly safe idea. And Google Maps, on the other hand, is packed to the brim with public transit information. And for starters, it includes full timetables and maps for transit services across the world and can integrate them into its direction without hesitation. It also has all kinds of real time things like these images, you know, gas stations, and it shows you real time information going down here, you know, so latest in the area. Look at this, you know, real time information, people telling you how it feels in New York and stuff. So again, I'd say Google Maps would be better in this case. And then there's the interface and design. Now, this is where things change. Now, despite being from the same company and doing similar things, Google Maps and Waze look completely different in interface. So, you know, we're all commonly known with this interface that you have for Google Maps. Now, let's go ahead and move to the interface for Waze. Now, Waze has a very different, you know, it has a very, um, you know, playful and uh, cartoonish interface. Which isn't bad. I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, you, you get what I mean. So basically, again, in the interface and design, I would say Waze is the winner. Now, the reason for that is uh, Waze will give you a really fun design to work with. Waze will give you a really, you know, uh, jolly and playful design. And I really like that. So yeah, that's the general idea of Google Maps and Waze. Now, if you ask me who the winner from these two is, I would definitely always go with Google Maps because Google Maps gives me a different type of ease that I can't explain. You know, it's just much better. It gives me much more fluidness and, uh, you know, it's it's a much older software I've been using. And, uh, you know, it's a software that you can get along with really well. So that's the general idea of using these softwares with each other. And uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, Google Maps is the one that I think always takes the ball away. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye.